Representative uh, James Tipton. He's one of our featured speakers today. I'm so glad that he's here. Um, he is currently serving as fifth term representative Spencer in Anderson County. He's worked extensively on the public pension challenges facing our state as well as um, election and education legislation. And he is currently the chair of the House Education Committee. And I'm very excited about that because I'm a teacher as well and a principal. And I'm glad that he's on our side working hard and right here. So here you go. Thank you. Could the legislative district 41 be in more capable hands than Carrie said? Again, let's give her a The one thing as I've been here for the last few minutes getting ready for this to start that's caught my attention is enthusiasm, excitement. And, and I'm glad that we're seeing that because 2023 is a critical issue and I'm going to make one note here. I'm not running for anything. In <laughs> but we have very important elections. Uh, on February 19th, there's a very important election to fill a seat for our Kentucky State Senate. And we need to get out there and, and support Christy and her efforts. And it, it's, it's a lot of hard work, isn't it? But you know what? And I know this is a district some people might think is a tough district. I, special elections don't always have very high voter turnouts. And I have seen some strange things happen in special elections. It is the candidate who has the supporters, who has the most enthusiasm and excitement to get out to vote that can make a difference in elections. Please get out and support Christy. We all know that uh, this is our year that we elect our constitutional officers. And uh, I'm in a situation where I know just about everybody running and consider them my friends. But uh, you know what? It's great to have good candidates running for all of our offices because that stimulates discussion. That gives people an opportunity to meet those candidates, to know what their positions are, to know what they stand for, to know what their priorities for, and that's important. But the most important election is going to be your governor's race. Uh, we all know what happened four years ago, a very close election that left us with Andy Brashear as governor of the Commonwealth. Ooh. I hear you. You know, Andy hadn't had a very... Andy has not had a very good week. Have you read the story about the $10,000, $1,000 checks that went out to disaster victims? Supposedly, guess what? People got those checks that didn't have disasters. They weren't impacted by the storms. How in the world do you let something like that happen? And the biggest disaster we have in our state right now Democrat. Is there, besides that, is our juvenile justice system. It is an absolute shambles. It's a shame. And, you know, there were state employees who tried to tell the administration about this. You know what happened to them? They got fired. They're now doing whistleblower lawsuits against the administration in the state. These young people were in conditions, locked in their cells 24 hours a day, not allowed to get out and take a shower. They, they were. It was inhumane what was happening to them. And we've got a, a work group that's been meeting on this, and they had a press conference this week, and they recommended that the governor put, bring in new leadership. But he's still standing firm with his crew because he knows they'll stand behind him. Votes. Do you all, y'all, anybody here know who AOC is? Yeah. You know what AOC said this week? She said that the Congressional Oversight Committee needs to investigate Governor Bashir for all the problems we have with our unemployment system during COVID. Think about that. Speaking of that, I probably had more constituent calls than I've ever had on that one issue, people struggling to get the sure. benefits. You know, the General Assembly appropriated $46 million in 2021 for the state to get a new system. And do you know, as of this date, they still don't even have a contract in place to do that. 